Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to give you guys a detailed look and comparison between the Nike Roshi Run and the Adidas Element, as you can see on the right-hand side right here. Shout out to Finish Line again for hooking me up with that product. Um, Brando and Nick, I do appreciate both of you guys for uh, helping me out. Um, these shoes right here on the right-hand side, you can find at Champ Sports Finish Line Foot Locker for like $40 on sale right now. Really, really a nice price. But you guys are probably curious, is it worth it? How are the shoes and those type of questions? So I'll get into that as I give you guys this review here. But uh, a lot of people have been wondering how these two sneakers compare. I already did a comparison between the Roshi Runs and these ones right here, the ZX Fluxes. But it wasn't a very fair comparison because these two sneakers are kind of in different categories. Uh, this sneaker, I mean, there's a lot of similarities that I, that I gave in the video. And there's a lot of... Uh, things about the sneakers that are not similar the first thing is obviously the um, upper the fact that you can put different prints on the uppers um, the Roshi run it also has that same capability because it has uh, a whole bunch of different materials that they make the Roshi runs with they do the same for the ZX fluxes as you can see here printed and then you have like a weave material over top of this one so the element in that regard doesn't do that they have one kind of upper for the, the sneaker they don't have a bunch of different things going on there uh, the Roshi Run, this is the $70 model that you see here pictured. They have the $90 um, model that I showed you guys last time, the uh, the na Natural Motion one or whatever it's called, and that one was $90. So a fair comparison, side by side, these ones are both $70 models. These ones that I was showing you were $90 models next to the $90 um, uh, Roshi Run. So this is like one of those sneakers, is it worth buying either of these sneakers? Summertime, I mentioned one of the big things that I didn't like about the ZX Fluxes was uh, I couldn't wear them without uh, socks. And I that's like one thing about the culture of a Roshi Run that is kind of unique in my opinion, uh, is that you can wear these shoes without socks and it's, extreme, it's, it's extremely comfortable. So um, that being said, you can do the same thing with the Adidas uh, Element here. And that's one thing I really do like about this shoe. Um, packaging wise, the box you can see here, it's just coming in a big square box. Again, $70 on the box tag you can see right here. And my size. And then, you know the Nike box, the sportswear box that you see here. Uh, packaging, though, is a little bit unfortunate because there's nothing on the inside of here. So you don't really need it because it's just cloth kind of material anyway. Uh, but for looks-wise, it's nice to have a so sort of something here to hold the form of the sneaker. So when you pull it out, it looks the way it does. Nike, Roshi Run, as you can see as and as I knocked everything over um, the Roshi run has this in inside of it so for 70 bucks you get the same thing but you do have something that holds the form which is nice it is nice uh, to have something like that so just throwing that out there um, also in both of the sneakers you have the liners of the uh, the Roshi runs and then Adidas actually has a liner of its own for the uh, the elements now I have worn the elements uh, more than a dozen times now I wanted to give them a fair shake and so I've been wearing them a lot. So there's a little bit of an impression on this shoe right here. These ones are DS. I haven't worn these uh, um, Roshis, but I have a pair just like them that I do wear. But this is a look at the liner side by side. The Nike one has more padding, um, it feels like, than the Adidas one. And this is the thing that I love the most about the Roshi runs, the padding. So padding, comparison-wise, uh, the Nike side has it, in my opinion. But the, the fact that the Adidas one has a liner like this gives you the option, like I like to do, and wear the shoes with uh no socks on so if you need to go get the mail or whatever it might be or you want to take the dogs on a walk and you don't want to grab socks from upstairs or whatever it might be you can just throw these on your feet and you're good to go um and the liners actually for this shoe came outside of the the packaging and then on the bottom it says um run natural underneath here so you can actually wear them without these liners if you want and you can or you can wear them with them and i like the fact that you can do that either way nike's without the liner is just the bottom of the shoe Cushioning wise, I'd have to say they're pretty much equal. Um, a lot of people say that Roshi runs are so comfortable and this and that and the next thing, but the, the cushioning on the Roshi runs are, aren't like, they're, they're not as responsive as something like these ones. This is a, a responsive cushioning, uh, great for walking or whatever it is. I mean, this is probably the most comfortable shoe that I have in my collection. Now, I do plan on doing a comparative test between these and the Adidas Boost because the Boost also has a responsive um, look to them and that's what their whole thing is about. So I will do a comparison between the Lunar um, Flyknits and the Boost, the high-end model. Um, but uh, just a, a comparative look, the Flyknit 
versus this. I mean, this looks like a, almost a fly knit material and the fly knit itself. So which is more durable? This one is obviously probably more durable. It's also a lot more expensive. Uh, I believe those ones are 185. These ones for the price though, I have to say uh, an amazing purchase. $40 on sale, even $70. Um, it's a great price point and the downside is they don't have a ton of different models of these or they don't have a, a, a bunch of different colorways they have a handful that I've seen so far um, it's just been a kind of a model that people have slept on you can see how I laced it I did the double lace at the top so it's kind of nice and I just throw it on like this and and wear it around and it's it's a really nice looking sneaker I love this kind of the black one with a white midsole it's just a really nice uh, put together sneaker but uh, sole wise I mean, I, I give an equal. It's it's not better, in my opinion, one way or the other. The Roshi runs aren't like that much more comfortable than um, than the elements. So that's kind of the way it is for that. Um, other comparisons, I don't know. I mean, they're just uh, they're just similar weight. They're very, both very light, and I think that's a huge uh, plus. And you can see the bottoms of the shoes. These ones I've worn again quite a bit, and I do like how it has like the segmented or the different segments kind of like a nike free sort of almost um on the bottom of there but uh in my opinion obviously the roshi runs are kind of a timeless classic as as of this point uh if you don't have a pair of roshi runs still you, i would definitely recommend you getting a pair especially for 70 dollars. it's just a great sneaker to just throw on and go to the grocery store or whatever you might want to do the adidas uh elements same same exact category in my opinion um it's not a loss any which way i would wear either of these shoes like equally, I mean, which, whichever one's down uh, stairs in front of my door basically is the one I'm going to be grabbing and throwing on feet. Uh, I like them both very much for the price point. You cannot beat it for under fifty dollars for a sneaker. Um, best best sneakers on the market for the price. I guarantee it. If you get them, you'll see the quality's build is good, and not just that, it's just an all around comfortable sneaker. Um, I give I say give it a try if you if you haven't got a pair of sneakers to wear without socks i know it's kind of a weird thing uh to do and i was kind of iffy about it at first but uh you don't wear them all day without socks at least i don't most of the time i just throw them on and run errands and stuff like that and you'll be pleasantly surprised uh both of them again uh very well priced 70 dollars retail on sale right now usually for around 40 dollars on the elements uh, hopefully you guys found this video informative if you guys did give a comment maybe in the comment section say uh what you guys prefer let me know uh, what you guys think and uh, give the video a thumbs up if you guys like it subscribe if you're new to the channel thank you guys for watching and we will catch you guys later peace